so today in today's video we are going to solve article in a finite box infinite potential well by the help of Schrodinger by the help of solving Schrodinger equations so I am writing the code in Fortran so after some time I will, I will also upload my code in Python if you ask so this is my way to writing a Fortran code okay uh, let me check yeah things are going well so first we have to define what are the functions that we have to solve yeah I know it's a boring thing actually <laughs> Uh, doing programming uh, all the time, but it's a bit of fun actually for some time It's it's if the problem is New and you know that you can solve the problem then it's really a funny thing So this is the second function. I haven't defined the function here. I will decide it shortly. So yeah, okay the arguments come inside that box, okay uh, Okay okay so this is the function f2 I haven't decided we will decide which is the function so first function is the derivative let's define it z2 it is like shy shy dash and the other function is minus 2.0 d0 star or mass I am defining the energy by EPS and uh, wave function shy by z1 now I have to define what is R mass is equal to what um, I think uh, it will be 938.27 I think and uh, H park is equal to 197.33 here we are working for a nucleus I am assuming that a proton is trapped inside uh, infinite well and I'm, I will find its energies what are the quantum energies it can take okay so the arguments will be uh, what are the dimensions of the box which will be x z1 z2 and eps x comma z1 z2 and same here eps the main thing is that uh, the only way to solve these equations is by runge kata method okay so first we have to define some parameters it is just defining like uh, how, uh, how big we can take an array okay so okay if i write my i'm not going to write here the range kota subroutine i'm just pasting it here we, this is obviously the, this uh, subroutine is written by me okay i'm just copy pasting it okay this is my subroutine i have written it previously so the arrays are a1 a2 a3 a4 and b1 b2 b3 b4 so here i am defining the dimensions of array actually this is not a good way to write a fortran code my guide always says that write one line and check that whether you are getting an error or not if you are not getting an error then you should proceed further but i have already written this code so i'm not going to do it here again and again because it's it will really take some time okay so okay and these are, I have defined the dimension but there are some other factors like z1 z2 and so on uh, their dimensions we also have to de define their dimensions so where are their dimensions x is the uh, width of the box like it's varying from minus 10 femtometer to 10 femtometer okay just assume that it's 
10 femtometer so x initial will be minus r lambda and x final will be plus r lambda yeah i know i'm doing a bit of error so h will be d yes x initial minus x final divided by npts like how many numbers you want to divide like i am taking here i think 2000 or i don't know what i have taken in the previous code this is my code uh, so uh, let me check i am not check changing it that much so here i am then taking uh, thousand okay so so i'm not going to vary it that much okay so wave function shy at boundaries we know that the wave function is zero and this is the derivative of the wave function it's also zero but i am taking a little bit value because we know that there is a little bit slight difference between shy and shy dash so yeah, this is there is a bit greater than shy there is a bit difference between because it's a it's it's a it is it's a, a tangent okay so now i have to define like z1 the first value will be um shy z2 it will be d psi so how to solve the equation equation the way of solving the schrodinger equation is first we will put any energy and then we will find what is the value of the wave function then we will put another energy what is the value of wave function at t at 10 femtometer where we will see if the wave function should collapse okay so that's how we are going to proceed here and uh, i don't know whether i'm missing some factor or not i don't think so it should be something like this here yeah. so what i'm doing is i'm giving a range of energy and eps is equal to 1.0 star no 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 no, 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 no. i am just finding uh, to the 1000 uh, sorry 20 femtometer sorry no uh, 20 mev i am just finding the energy range to 0 to 20 mev okay so i think so far so good i, I don't think that there is an error they will face an error first i am checking that whether i am getting an error or not i hope that i won't get an okay it's great so far so good yeah okay i have decided and defined all the parameters so okay this assume that initially we are in zeroth state and the thing is that we know at boundary when range the width of the potential ended like just assume it is ended at 10 femtometer the wave function collapses at to zero so we have to check at 10 femtometer it should be zero and then we have to proceed to uh, new level okay so i am writing here if uh, z1 Mm -hmm. i am writing abs value because it's either could be positive or negative dot less than then is to power minus 7 because there is nothing purely zero in quadrant 
or we know in quantum mechanics there is nothing purely zero then plate equals to n state plus one okay i hope that that should should have worked because i have defined all the parameter i have defined shy psi lambda and pts i have also defined i have also defined n should vary from one to n pts let me check that i am not missing any other parameters h i have defined d float n pts okay okay there is one thing yeah NPTS it should be D float because NPTS is an integer okay so so far so good I think right and state to my PS and if and yeah ah okay so here you can see we are getting the energies and the state this is the first state and the energy of the proton will be 0.512 mev second state 2.048 mev and third 4.60 and further for further states if you want to go further you can proceed further like what is the energy of uh, seventh state just increase the energy range here we are taking to the 20 femtometer just go for the like 40 so yeah this is the energy of 7th, 6th state, this is the energy of 7th state and this is the energy of 8th state and you can also verify it by uh, energy is equal to n square pi square h power square over 2 ma square okay where a will be the width of the well which is uh, we are taking 20 femtometer okay minus 10 to plus 10 so thank you so much uh, there are so much things to